Hey there everyone, Robert here and back to showcase yet another new update to an existing feature within Wix Studio. This one's actually very nice in that it's being able to schedule your light boxes. Pop-up windows, modals as sometimes they're called, are a very good way to be able to bring information and have some interactivity to your website. So let's say for example, like Christmas is around the corner and maybe I want to highlight, hey, we have this sale running right now. Or maybe I want to have people sign up to my website to get subscriptions, have it act as a lead form, notify people of an event that's coming up. So for things like that, that maybe I would want to schedule out, the previous way I would have had to do it is just go to the live site or go to the editor and just, okay, cool, now I want this thing to be visible. Now with the ability to be able to schedule it, especially let's say again for that Christmas example, I don't actually have to go on Christmas Eve and go, oh, hey, cool, we're running a sale today only. And then I have to go back to the site again and be like, all right, well, the sale is done now. So this is great too, because especially in conjunction with the ability to schedule out social posts, your email marketing, other communications that you might have with your users, being able to schedule this out as well means you can be a little more hands off with the site and plan out your marketing coordination a little bit better. So I'm just gonna showcase how to add the Lightbox in general in Wix Studio, and then how to activate and use this new feature. So yeah, let's jump in. So here I am within Wix Studio and I've already added this light box. Again, in this example, let's say I have a flash sale that I want to do, I don't know, maybe this weekend. And I guess this would be for a subscription that I'm offering right now. So first to be able to add the light box, let's come here to the add element section and we'll see this within the layout tools. So again, here we go within the layout tools. And we see that there's a few different elements that we can add on here, but at the very bottom, there's light boxes. You can see there's actually a few elements that are pre-designed as well as a blank one. You can add in your own videos, your own forms. You can add more or less anything into this. It kind of acts as a container and you can make this as large or as tall as you want. But again, for this example, I'm gonna use this flash sale. Again, maybe over the weekend, I wanna have a temporary sale, just let's say for the actual weekend itself. So to do that, again, before I would have had to come into the site and schedule it, but now, within the light box with the light box actually selected. If I come here to set triggers, assuming that this is automatically opening and displaying on page. So we can come down here and we'll see that there's a light box scheduling. If you don't see this, it might be because it's not set up. So you'll see this element here saying, okay, to set the schedule. I do want to highlight that you can't schedule it to if it's not automatically displayed on the site, let's say maybe I have a button that opens the slide box that can't necessarily be triggered. And that makes sense because otherwise, I guess if you have an interactable element, it wouldn't open anything. So in this case, it's for automatically displaying light boxes. Uh, that's maybe something you want to see. Let me know and I can forward that feedback to the team. But I can't think of an example where I would want to click something and it's only like at a later time that it's opening up. I would figure otherwise I wouldn't have the button there in, in the interim, but again, that's just something maybe if you guys want to see. But again, we can decide which pages we want to display this on. For this example, I did here to whichever is the first page that the visitor sees. So that's how I have that set up. And again, for the light box scheduling, it's fairly simple with the UI, how it kind of looks. So we can choose the start date, the end date, the start time, end time, and this is you can't type into this, it's not in increments or intervals. So I can do like even as granular as 12.01 a.m. So again, for my example, I'll use this weekend. I'll start it like this Friday. So it starts the 8th and let's have it end. So I'll have it run until the 11th. And a big important thing probably to definitely make sure of is to make sure you're using your right time zone. So this would be the time zone that's kind of reflected to you, or maybe that's best for your business. If you don't know exactly, maybe we're getting a lot of traffic. That's something I can do because Wix does have a lot of built-in analytics. You can see where most of your traffic is being, is coming from, and especially shopping from or interacting with your site from. So that's something cool. If you definitely want to see that, let me know. I'd be happy to make a video about that. But once you do that and you publish the site, again, this won't actually appear until you have that set schedule up. So once the time happens, then it'll automatically display. I wish I could show that, but it's kind of hard to showcase. Oh yeah, this is this in the future <laughs> within a video like this, but feel free, give it a try, check it out. If you maybe want to test it out, maybe you could do the start date now and have it just like a minute or two in the future. So you can see if it's actually popping up and then if it's ending on its own, 
So again, you can get very granular with this if you wanted to. But yeah, let me know if this is something that you've been wanting to see. If there's anything else maybe from what I've mentioned, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to make a video on that or just forward that feedback to the team. But yeah, thanks everyone. Bye for now.